Lord. Oh, Lord. Have you been to the Santa Diego's grave? It was here I first thought, these puzzles are kind of mid. Look at this. Now see, good puzzles will gradually test you, forcing you towards improvement, which then warrants appropriate reward. But here, I kill one enemy and BOOM! Second best knife in the game. Now you walk into the dungeon. First room, slap another enemy, BLAM! blam! Talisman of 20% flask healing. LEAVE ME ALONE! Now I get there's a lot of people who chase insane builds that really defy the odds and obliterate bosses. They'd be quite excited for an easy earned destructo item. But that's the fun, right? defying the odds. The reason you wouldn't like picking up the game and one-shotting bosses from the start, well, it's the same reason so many games aren't fun to play in the beginning. A rewarding progression is really important. We're talking about the journey here, not the destination. The empty yet fulfilled sensation when the credits roll is what I'm talking about. Because if all that's good is at the very beginning, there's no reason not to just leave. Here's another leg of the issue. This dungeon has this wacky puzzle where these stone imps are all coated with shadow. And while they're like this, you can't damage them. The solution is to kite the imp into these daylight circles and boom, they're mortal again. Now if this is how the puzzle was introduced, then you'd actually have to fire a neuron or two to solve it. But instead, you're greeted with one standing in the circle already. It gives away the puzzle and you haven't even encountered the problem yet. So we have being rewarded first, being shown how to solve the puzzle, and now this. Time for Skeleton House. <laughs> This is a pit trap. You land surrounded by enemies, but in the safety of the circle. They charge, staggering as they get blasted with holy damage, allowing you to easily deal with them. Like you just fall into the exact thing you need to solve the puzzle. No 20 foot jog, no obscure lore written on a toilet paper roll. Heck, if EA made the puzzle, at least they'd want my credit card to continue. Meaning I'd have to get up and solve where I put my wallet. It's pretty irritating that a game renowned for vague story hints just hands you the answers for the puzzles. With how out of whack the order of this dungeon is, I decided to compare it to one of the most famous dungeons, French Folk Hero Grave. Handing it to French Folk, the difference between these two puzzle dungeons is almost bigger than your before and after picks. Your first challenge, a big man is steamrolling the path from wall to wall. He goes all the way up, turns around, comes all the way down. How do I get by? Well, I know what you're thinking. Ah, safe haven in the wall. By no means is this challenge my near to fully developed wrinkle bank. But the dev said, hey, bait him. Another safe haven about 20 foot farther, close enough to make it, but far enough to be dangerous. It was a gamble for the ages, and in true American fashion, I waited. Like a saint for the Lord's guidance. Now, not only am I presented with the challenge of how to get by, it also presented me with the gamble of trying to run further to save time. And what happens next is really cool. Say you get past him and round the corner, when he comes back up to the top of his route, he suddenly turns. Like I was saying, now that we've completed a portion of the puzzle, an aspect of it has spun the entire approach on its head, and I love it. Most of the time, dungeon puzzles just progress by the room. You beat it, and that puzzle is done with entirely. But here, the puzzle continues, evolving with you for the challenge. Now look, if you try to round that wall, you'll get crushed. You're simply not faster than Steam Boy. Turns out, if you run on your way up and bank right, you'll find a safe zone with no wall, dropping off to the pass below. It saves you time. From there, you book it over to the bridge and into another safe hovel. Boom. Neuron fired. Puzzle. Looking good. But even with all this, I think it's how the devs end the puzzle that makes it really special. If you've been through the French Folk Dungeon, you know you fight an ulcerated tree spirit at the end. But it isn't that or the spirit ashes you gain at the end that leaves you with a sense of completion. A secret path leads you to that. If you take this secret drop off the bridge and best its challenges, along with getting past two revenants, then you can take this secret elevator with the best reward. Hit these massive pots with a ranged attack, and the devs bless you with destroying the core mechanic of the puzzle and the dungeon. The sentry. The very thing that forced you into thinking. Now that is a good puzzle. We are coming up on the 1000 marshmallow special. You sub, I eat one marshmallow. <laughs>